Hi everybody, it's Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. We are back today with a nice Goodwill outlet, also known as the Bins Hall. Happy day before Halloween. Uh, where I'm from, this was called Mischief Night, and we spent the entire night either toilet papering people's houses, or in our case, sitting up on the roof with super soakers, defending our house from people toilet papering houses. But I just recently learned that that was a regional thing in the Philadelphia area. Do you guys have a name for the night before Halloween? Um, sound off in the comments below. Um, I guess we're a little weird, but surprising to probably none of you. Uh, Halloween is my favorite holiday. So any opportunity I get to wear my bat robe and my spiders, I'm excited. This is um, a little fun story about me. I was in Vegas with girlfriends a couple of years ago and I came out with the dark lips and everything it's just kind of a look I pull out sometimes on nights out and I had uh, I had just seen the movie what we do in the shadows if you have not seen that yet like immediately after watching this video go watch it I will link the trailer down below like immediately it is so funny uh, but there's a scene where Jermaine Clemens's character says, uh, this is a look I like to call dead but delicious. And I am very pale. And when I wear dark makeup, I look even more pale. So I came out of the bathroom with this look on and I told the girls that this is a look I like to call dead but delicious and the name stuck. So uh, one of my nicknames is DVD or dead but delicious. So fun fact about me. But uh, guys, we've got lots of good stuff today. This was this was a wild ride this week. Um, lots of interesting vintage designer pieces, tons of new Bolo brands. So uh, be on the lookout throughout the video. I mean, like several new Bolo brands that I have never heard of before. So if you are new here, uh, don't forget to hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. It is so fun for me to have somebody to like nerd out about the treasures I find at Thrift with. Um, but without further ado, guys, let's get into the goods. There's some good stuff this week. So we will start with something here that is not for everybody, but I do it just because it is something I'm very familiar with. I found these two bras like right next to each other. This one is a Felina bra, which is a fabulous brand. They make like, you know, bras for larger busts that are still absolutely gorgeous. So this one, and also this one, this one is Notori. And these are both probably like $80 bras. They're both in fantastic condition. Um, and they're both a 34G. So I'm assuming that they were from the same person. Um, I will probably kit these two together bundle them up and sell them together for, you know, maybe 30, 35 bucks. Um, anybody who is used to buying bras like this is going to welcome an opportunity to find them in good condition cheaper because they are somewhere again in the 70 to like $90 range, depending on the brand. Next up, I do have one kid's piece and I almost never get kid's pieces unless it's a brand that I know for a fact is super spendy and really nice quality. And it's this Absolutely. Look at this adorable little dress. I, this could not clash with what I am wearing more. This is literal springtime. Um, this is from Janie and Jack, which I know is a very expensive kids brand. Um, this this dress was probably close to $100. Uh, this is a 2T. It's in perfect condition. Cute little button back uh, closure. I only have the top button. Um, Hip, but again, in perfect condition, I, you know, maybe 25 or 30 bucks on this. Um, just absolutely adorable. And something, if, if you are in the market for a very cute, like special occasion dress for your kid or for a friend's kid, keep an eye out for Janie and Jack. It's definitely one of those brands that is, you know, not only gorgeous, it's well-made, they're special pieces and infinitely resellable. <laughs> Next up here, I've got this adorable dress from Zara Woman. It is 100% cotton. It's all white with these adorable little pom-poms around the middle. This is kind of like a wide ampere waist dress um, with little peasant sleeves that are about three quarter length, maybe like elbow length. Uh, just adorable. I, you know, I this caught my eye. It is unlike anything I've really ever seen from Zara. So. I'll give it a try, maybe 25 bucks on that. I just thought the little pom-poms were so cute. And for whatever reason, anytime I have something with pom-poms on it, it does tend to sell kind of quickly. So interesting find. Next up, and this is the first of several new Bolo brands that I have, at least new to me. And this is a brand called Sass and Bide. And this is an Australian brand 
um, super high end, this beautiful, like all white cotton cable knit sweater. Like look at the knit on this. Isn't this cool? Kind of never seen a knit like that, but it's got these little metal button, the like little metal beads kind of in clusters all over. Um, this was probably a $400 sweater. That's about what I was seeing on their website. I am not sure. I see like comps that have sold for like $30. I see comps that have sold for like $150. I'm going to anticipate probably 40 on this. Again, I like to anticipate on the low end. Um, it is a size small. It's in fantastic condition. Just gorgeous, but definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Um, again, I had never heard of them before. I just kind of picked it up because I'm like, this this feels nice. And uh, when I did a quick comp in the bins, like I, I was like, oh my God, whoa, we're gonna be keeping our eye out for that. Next up here, we've got this really pretty uh, little kind of like nighty from Intimo, which I believe is or a Clo Intimo. That's the label. I believe this is an anthropology brand. Can I show up there? No. Um, but this is a size medium. It's in a beautiful cobalt blue. It's in fan, like this feels unworn. Um, the top here kind of reminds me of like free people bralettes of which I actually have one later in this, in, later in this haul, but it's just in really great shape. They, they resell for a pretty decent amount. I want to say that this was probably 60, 70 bucks new. And I believe that they resell, um, depending on color and size and all that for like 30, $35. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. Um, they are really pretty and very soft. Like this doesn't feel, you know, sometimes you'll see like lingerie and it just looks like clearly a man designed this because <laughs> it looks like the most uncomfortable thing on the whole planet. This feels like it would be very comfy. Next up, this is, um, this is a bread and butter thing. This is the JW Anderson collab with Uniqlo. Um, I love personally, like I love the Uniqlo collabs, especially the ones that they do, of course, with Jill Sander, my favorite. Um, but they also do Uniqlo U with Christian Lemaire, who I also love. Um, but JW Anderson tends to sell. I just thought that this was a cute little like preppy. It's got like a little seersucker sailboat. It's all patchwork. This is all stitched. You know, I don't think I'll get much for this, but I do tend to grab the Uniqlo collabs just because certain items like, you know, if I sell everything for $10, $15 and then all of a sudden I have one collab piece that's like highly sought after and I get $100 for it, especially if I get it at the bins, I'm going to do that all day. Um, plus Uniqlo, despite being fast fashion, does, does tend to be pretty high quality, um, which I do appreciate. No, oh, this one was a crazy find in the bins. Guys, this is Proenza Schuller, and I am probably butchering that name. So um, if I am saying it wrong and you know the correct pronunciation, like, let me know, please. Uh, but this is Proenza Schuller. This is an ultra high-end luxury designer. Um, I'm talking like Neiman Marcus, Bergdorf, Goodman, luxury designer. And there are some condition issues with this. This is a very, like, almost, it feels like mixed media, like loose open weave. Let me get you up close on that weave so you can kind of see what's going on there. And there are a couple pulls on this, but when something is this like loose open weave, I've been pretty successful with like, you know, finding the source of it and like pulling it back into shape. It's not like a tight weave where that's impossible. You can see like the one piece right here. Um, but this was kind of cool when I grabbed it, first of all, it's put on the shoulder. This was probably a $2,000 sweater. Um, but when I picked it up, this is always kind of cool to see on the inside. It's got the label and original sample. So this was like a production sample. This may not have even gone into production. This might've been something made for the designer and then, you know, taken off the table. So, um, you know, in perfect condition, I see like sweaters, original sample sweaters going for 250 to 300 because of the condition issues. I'm really anticipating like 30, <laughs> you know, if I can get it fixed and gray, like anything else will be gravy. But on my spreadsheet where I'm kind of calculating my estimated profit, I'm, I'm saying about 30, but you just can't leave something that's pro and uh, behind at the bins. There was actually also in the same bin, there was a John Varvados leather jacket, new with tags. 
and I grabbed it. I'm like, oh, oh my God, this is my bins location. That's $1 per item. And when I got it back to my cart, I saw that the leather had been sliced. And I know a really good cobbler can fix that. I've had leather jackets repaired. Um, I've had like rips in leather repaired. Um, but it is pretty spendy and it probably would have ended up costing what I could get for it. But man, did my heart skip a beat when I saw that. I'll tell you, it was a wild day at the bins. Next up, and I grabbed this because I felt the material. Um, this, ladies and gentlemen, is fine mulberry silk. You, Once you get your hands on mulberry silk, you know the feel. Um, but this is like a, a, a short robe or a pajama top. It's unfortunately missing the uh, the belt, which is, of course, every reseller's, you know, plight. But the tag on here, this is the tag, the label that was inside. And I couldn't find anything on it. And I kind of put this out to like a, a group that I'm in on, on social. And somebody came back, they're like, that's probably a monogram. I'm like, oh, of course. Um, so I don't know what I'll be able to sell this for. I don't know if I'll be able to sell this, but I am just putting this in here to like, to like set the intention of this is the life I aspire to, <laughs> you know, custom made mulberry silk pajamas with my initials sewn onto the inside. Um, universe, are you listening? That is what I want. <laughs> Next up. Oh, this was such a cool find. Um, talk, you want to talk about some vintage Juicy Couture? Look at that label. And this is early days of Juicy Couture. And this is like a little 100% linen maxi skirt with a cute little ruffle on the end. There's a little bit of a tear on the hem, um, which makes sense. This was probably early 90s. I think that Juicy Couture was founded in like 93, 94. And the kind of label that you are familiar with today, that kind of crest came about in I think 96. So this was the first couple of years and um, of course, in the 90s, it was all grunge and dragging things on the ground. And I mean, Jenko jeans, which um, which are back. They're back. I literally was in the bins the other day and the kids standing in front of me while we were waiting for a table change was wearing Jenko jeans. I almost threw up. I can't believe they're back. Um, but anyway, so this was early 90s, 100% linen. It's a size large, original tag, Juicy Couture, with a cute little ruffle on the bottom. Not a clue what I'll get on this. It may be 30 or 40 bucks just, you know, just due to the fact that it's 100% linen and it's vintage Juicy. But I just thought this was so cute. Anyway, very cool find. Next up here, I've got this great pair of hiking or trekking trousers from Mountain Hardware. If you are not familiar with outdoor gear, this is definitely a Bolo brand. Um, it's kind of, I, I wouldn't say it's like Patagonia Arcteryx level, but it's maybe one step down, probably a little bit higher at this point than um, North Face, but that is the logo. Anybody who's into the outdoors will know this logo. They make really good quality stuff. Um, and these are like a women's size eight. They've got a nice like secure built-in belt here. Um, they've got pockets, they've got little cargo pockets, they've got hidden, um, kind of cinch. They have like little hidden cinches for the bottom. Um, I think that these are pretty modern. I would say that these are probably, you know, maybe a year or two old, does it say? It doesn't even say, but they, they feel like they've just barely been worn, if at all. Um, probably $30, $35 on this. Next up here, we've got this cute little top from Rails. Rails is another one of those Bolo brands to be on the lookout for. They're pretty expensive. This is probably a $160 shirt. Um, they're, they make these kind of flannels that are just like a nice, almost like a, I guess like a tensile or like a lyocell blend. So they drape beautifully. It's a good like two color plaid, which you don't all, always get with Rails. Uh, sometimes their plaids, go a little bit more girly and those I find uh, take a lot longer to sell. So if they're darker or if they're more like two color plaids, they'll move a little bit faster. It's a size large, it's great size, probably get 35 bucks for this. Um, definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Usually they sell pretty quickly for me and especially right now, like right now is the season for flannels. Next up, I'll just kind of burn through this one quick, talk about bread and butter. This is like a basic, Carhartt gray pocket tee, it's a size large. I won't get a ton of money for it. You know, I paid a dollar for it. I'll probably get 10 or 15 bucks, but it will sell quick because it is in such great shape. 
Carhartt is just one of those brands that like, if you see it, you get it because people know what it is. They look for it by name. There are people, you know, especially people in like the trades who will like only wear Carhartt. You know, it's like they need stuff that's going to perform and it's going to wear a long time and they know that Carhartt's going to do it. So it's almost, if the price is right, no matter what it is, it's almost always a safe bet to pick up Carhartt. Next up, I've got this cute little, and this goes back to that, uh, that Chloe Intimo dress that I found earlier. This is the, um, this is the little free people bralette that it reminds me of. It has the same kind of quality to the lace. It's nice and stretch. It's super soft. This, um, I, I've sold a bunch of this exact same, um, little bralette. This is, I don't think ever worn. This tag looks like it's never, you know, it's never been worn. Um, you know, I'll get 15 bucks for this all day and this will go really quickly. It, these are, again, not things that are going to make your rent, but they will sell very quickly and get you another sale and, and all of that. So uh, definitely uh, the free people intimately. This is the tag, something to be on the lookout for. Stuff always sells really quick for me. Next up here. Now, this is a brand I never get, but this is a style that will sell no matter what. This is from INC. This is International Concepts, which is, I believe, a Macy's brand. Um, it's a size large, but guys, it is a red velvet blazer. Look at this. I mean, this. I don't think that this was ever worn. The little back vent is still tacked. It's in, I mean, impeccable condition. Um, every year, velvet will sell. <laughs> like velvet is a red velvet blazer it, you know it does everything for your silhouette um it's very festive this will sell in no time i you know i don't think it'll sell until maybe a little bit closer to the holidays but i, I think i'll get 35 bucks on that all day it's it's really beautiful the velvet's a nice quality it's nicely darted size large it's red velvet um it's just like a little lesson to, you know, not always just go by the labels. Um, you know, labels are great and there are certain labels that will sell a piece, but this is a perfect example of buying for style. People will search for red velvet blazers. Next up here, I've got, this is a nice bolo brand. This is Faithful, the brand. It's Faithful with two L's. This is a, I believe a Revolve brand, super high end. These are, I mean, these need to be steamed so bad, but these are so cute. These are like cross front beach pants. Um, I'm gonna see if I can show this to you. I'll link these down below if they're live before this video goes up, but they kind of open like this on the front and they almost have like a little tulip like bottom. Again, I will link this below. I'm sure I can find a stock photo for this, but they've got a little tie waist. They are an extra small, which is a tougher, you know, it's a tougher size to make, uh, to sell, but Faithful or Brand is very expensive. These were probably 150 to $175 new. I'll probably get somewhere between 28 and 40 on these, depending on demand. Um, super cute though, and in great shape. So next up here, and this is a tag to be on the lookout for, but it's not a new one. It is a tag that will probably bring back some memories for some of you. Um, and that is this. Look at that. This is probably late 70s, early 80s gap. Um, talk about how few of these are still around, but look at this sweater. It's a size small. It's a wool blend. It is in impeccable condition like you know wool from this long ago this had to have been like vacuum sealed or stored in a cedar closet or something um you know to have lasted this long <laughs> without holes in it i am not sure what i'll get for this um but i think it'll go pretty quickly i know a million people who would buy this today if i brought this to like rose bowl flea or long beach flea i think it would be off of my rack in two seconds uh, maybe 30 or 40 bucks on this. I just thought that was such a cool find and I'm so happy that um, I'm, I kind of intercepted this on the way to going overseas or, you know, going to the, to the landfill. So cool. Next up here, we've got another uh, brand to be on the lookout for. This is an Other Stories. I found a pair of pants from them like last week. This is another Revolve brand, again, very expensive. This is a cute little like 
almost like a tunic top. I'm not quite sure if that's a dress or a tunic top. And if you look closely at the print, there are like little uh, like diamonds, hearts, clubs, and spades. It's got like a little mock neck and on the back, it's got a little peekaboo with a button closure. It's got long sleeves with this nice little lace detail. And you're probably 30 to $35 on this. And other stories, again, it's a Revolve brand. It's very expensive. Um, definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Up next, we got another little Free People top. I always love grabbing these little Henleys from Free People. This is a We The Free. It is an extra small, again, kind of tougher. I found a lot in small and extra small this week. So if you are small or extra small, uh, I will link my closet down below because I've got some good stuff for y'all. Um, but one of the things that I always keep an eye out for with um, Free People is these like long kind of embellished sleeves. For whatever reason, something about these sleeves has just a very devout following. Um, this is probably the simplest of the sleeves. There is, wow, I can't remember the name of the model, but there is one like style that they have. If I, if I remember it, I'll put it on the screen here. Um, but they have cuffs that are kind of like hard cuffs and they start about here and they'll have all kinds of like embellishment on the cuffs. That is one to be on the lookout for. I have never had one that didn't sell within like two days. That's how in demand they are. But even the plain ones sell pretty quickly. This is 100% cotton, cute little Pontel knit. Uh, probably $20, $25 on that. Oh, next up, look at how cute this is. This is from J. Jill. Oh, isn't that adorable? It's like a little light jacket with kind of a peplum hem. The sleeves have little bells on the end. I just thought that the detail on this, like look at this detail around the collar. I just thought that the detail on this was so beautiful. It's really well made. Look at the darting on the back. This is the kind of stuff that just catches my eye. Look at that darting. You know, it's like a contour dart, so it really kind of follows the curve of your back. It's a size small. This is in perfect condition. I would be surprised if this was ever worn before. It's a really fine whale, super soft corduroy in this beautiful sage green. Um, maybe $30, $35 on this, maybe a little bit more. Oh, it is just so cute. I could not resist. Next up, we've got another vintage piece here. This one's from Andre Luciano, which was a pretty high-end Italian designer, I believe back in the 90s. And this is just like a really simple, silky little blouse with gold buttons. Um, I just, I love the collar on this. It's like an ever so slightly oversized collar. Um, definitely, this just reeks of like, quiet luxury to me. This feels luxe. It looks luxe. It's very simple. So it'll never be out of style. You know, maybe $25, $30 on that. I have to do a little bit more research into the brand. When I did a quick kind of sold comp, there were things that were like in the $300 range and there were things in like the $10 range. So I need to do a little bit more research before I price that, but I'm going to anticipate probably 30 bucks on that, 25, 30 on that. Very, very cool find. Mm. This was an amazing find. This was literally the last thing I grabbed before I left. And it was literally, I was putting my uh, buybacks in, but look at this. This is from Free People. And it's called the Bell of the Ball gown. And this is a full length gown. Look at the tag on this. I've never seen a tag like this. You see that? So I almost didn't grab it because um, I didn't recognize the tag and I look closely. I'm like, oh, that's free people. But look at the detail on the front. So it's all like hand sequined. That's all embroidered. And then all around the edge, this is like braided leather. And it kind of comes together in a racer back like that. It, the scallops go all, I mean, details, details, details. And then it's got kind of a floor length pleated skirt and then on the back like on the back in the center there's another embellished piece uh, this is also a size 12 which you just don't find in free people almost ever um, and again in fantastic condition I have seen some of these um, that sold for $400 I think this was probably a $300 dress when it was new and i they may or may not still make this, um, but I just thought this was so, so stunning. I'm going to kind of rush to get this up because it does feel um, 
you know, of the season. This definitely feels holiday. I wish I found this a month ago because Halloween, but what a cool, cool piece. Um, again, it just, I know it's hard to peel yourself away from the bins or it's hard to peel yourself away from the racks, but like when you're doing your, your put back, <laughs> when you're doing all the things that, you, you know, you've done your condition check and you do a little pushback, if they have new tables out, just like, just do one bin. Just do a quick little look because you never know what you're going to find. I found this. This could easily be a $200 dress in my pocket for an extra, you know, five minutes of looking through a bin. I am terrible. I am an enabler. I am a bins and thrift enabler. Um, I am unashamed of that. Next up here, we've got another new Bolo brand, at least new to me, and that is called Never Fully Dressed. I grabbed this because it felt really nice. And I looked at the I looked at the tag and I didn't recognize it, but the tag looked nice. And it's this super cute little wrap skirt. I'm trying to like hold this so you can kind of see it. It's a super cute little wrap skirt in like, this is kind of like a like a like a leopard print in three different colors. Um, it's super pretty. It's a size small. This was, I think, $150 new. Um, you know, maybe get 30 bucks on this, but definitely a brand to be on your lookout for. It looks like there was a lot of sold comps and not a ton available, which is usually a good sign. Um, but I just thought that was so pretty. Now for a bolo brand that everybody knows, that is Reformation. Love finding Reformation in the bins. I especially love finding one of their Cuba shirts. This is like one of the things that people collect, kind of like that free people Henley top that I was talking about. They come out with new prints for this shirt every year. It's 100% linen. It's this great like boxy silhouette, short sleeve, beautifully made. I love the black and white. I think this is a size small. Yeah, this is a size small. This will sell in no time and probably for 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks. Um, definitely one of my favorite, I love finding Reformation. It's one of my favorite brands to find in the bins, but cause, and, and, you know, if you do find something Reformation, do what you can to find the actual style name because people will search by style name for them. Um, but the Cuba shirt, I know for sure people search for, they look for it. They love it. They have it in multiple patterns. So I don't think that this will sit along, sit around all that, all that long. Great find. Next up, we've got a kind of a cool vintage piece. Again, something that I could take to Rose Bowl or Long Beach Flea this weekend and sell in a minute. Uh, this is a vintage Abercrombie vest. This kind of dips into the style they call Gorpcore. Have you heard this term before? This is like, you know, guys that are wearing like technical, like outdoors apparel. But when you get a little vintage action in on it, it's it's super fun. And I'll probably get 20 or 30 bucks for this. And I don't think it'll sit around all that all that long. This is definitely vintage. This is from probably the 90s. It's a size large. It's in fantastic condition. Yeah, made in Korea. Um, yeah, this was a great find. Next up, we've got this cute little Akemi and Kin. This is an anthropology brand. There you go. Is that showing up? Um, this cute little black top it's got black sheer like blousey sleeves it's got nice little like stitch detail around the neck it's almost like a like a little split neck it's a size small yeah size small um probably 25 bucks the body is like a nice slub cotton um you know Akemi and Kim is you know they're not they don't sell like they used to but it does sell pretty quickly. So definitely something always to keep your eye out for. If the price is right, get it. It's maybe not something today that I would spend like full thrift store price. I wouldn't go and spend like $7 on this, but dollar all day. Next up, I grabbed this. The cotton or the, the fabric felt really nice. This is Lori Felt Los Angeles. It's a size extra large. Um, this is, I believe, a higher end boutique brand, uh, but you know, they sell pretty expensive and they, it looks like they resell pretty well. This is just like a little swirl tee. There's like a little gather on the shoulder here for a little bit of interest, a little kind of a flutter sleeve. Um, I'll probably get 25 bucks on this. It does look brand new and pretty much unworn. So 
this is definitely one I'm rolling the dice on. It had kind of a lot of things going for it. So hopefully I'll be able to report back and let you know what that sold for. Up next here, we've got another Bolo brand. I am telling you guys, this, this week has opened my eyes. I love learning about new brands. This one is called the, the Hand Loom. And I grabbed, oh my God, why is this not focusing? Here we go. Um, and I grabbed this because I love the feel of it. It's 100% cotton. It's a cute little jumpsuit with little like tassel cinches on the side. Um, it's made in Turkey. So any anytime you see Turkish cotton, like eyes open because they're, they make the best cotton in the world, Turkey and Egypt. Um, but this is just like, it's a really high end brand. This was probably $150. I see a lot of sold comps going from 50 to 60 bucks. Um, it's a size medium, large, it's a good size. It's a really beautiful, like kind of neutral color. Uh, definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Uh, very excited to have found that and to learn a little bit more about that. I'm always excited for Turkish cotton. And up here, another Bolo brand. Now this I think has some condition issues, but I grabbed it because it felt really nice. And this is a hoodie from, I am probably gonna say this wrong, Ovadia, Ovadia and Sons. I believe um, one of the founders is a pro soccer player. Uh, don't quote me on that, but this is just a little blue hoodie. And I don't know, if you kind of see this, I don't know if this is like intentionally on there or if there used to be a patch. I know like some of the newer ones, they have a little patch here, but it's, I mean, like a third of the size. So this could be intentional. And it does have this like little, the seam here, which does not look like a repair. This looks like a, you know, like a machine done seam. Um, but it's got the kind of like ribbed gussets here on the side. Really beautiful quality cotton. Um, in perfect, like, so this is probably, I think they were like two or $300 new for their hoodies. Um, and I see some going on the secondhand market, obviously in perfect condition for like over a hundred dollars. I'm going to say probably 30 because of the condition issues. You can see there's like little, um, there's like little pinholes here at the, at the corner. And honestly, like if I can't sell this, this is something I'll just, you know, I'll give to my husband because it is really nice and he will love this. But they've got like a little patch there on the side, definitely a label to be on the lookout for. Even if I can't sell it, I wanted to make sure to include it in this video just so you all get your eyes on it and keep your eyes out for it. Cute little like detail rib there in the back. Um, eyes out for that. Ooh, And the sleeve is a little bit ripped. Yeah, I don't know if I can sell that, but eyes out for it. So next up here, I've got this incredible, like, giant scarf. I think they call these mufflers, but I love the knit on it. I don't know if you can kind of see the knit, um, but this is an alpaca blend. It's made in Peru, and this is the tag that was on it. Where is it? There it is. This is the tag that was on it. This is Our Hands for Hope Peru Napa Valley. So I'm assuming that this was like a little boutique in Napa that sold Peruvian-made goods, probably by Peruvian craftspeople. Um, I, I I don't think it's there anymore. You know, unfortunately, Napa got hit pretty bad by COVID, so I wouldn't be surprised if it shut down in that time. But this is in, like, perfect condition, and it is so cozy. Like, I don't think that this will last very long because anything alpaca goes pretty quickly. And, you know, this is something that doesn't require you to be a certain size to wear it. Like, this is not a small, medium, or large. This is just something that will fit every single person. It will keep every single person cozy. And it's a beautiful color. I love that kind of like eggplant aubergine color. It's beautiful. <laughs> this was such a wild week, guys. Another one that I found, I grabbed this because it was silk and a super cute little silhouette. It's like a crop top. I think this is made to be worn with nothing underneath because you have the little bit of opacity um, over this area. But this is from Alex J and Milk. And I... From what I could find, these are two influencers that started a clothing line. I don't know if it's still around, but I just thought that the shirt was so cute. Again, 100% silk. It's like a wide boxy silhouette, a little bit cropped. It was a size small, but, you know, maybe 25 or 30 bucks on this. I just, and I, you know, you find silk in the bins and it's always like, where's the hole? <laughs> you know, like you almost anticipate the hole. And this is such fine, lightweight silk. Um, not a hole to be seen. Not a stain, not a hole, not a snag. I'll take it. 
Next up for all of our granny core dreams, look at this cute little sweater vest. I just thought this was so cute. It's really well made. Like look at the hanging straps. They're knit. I love it. It's from a brand called, I think this is 10J, it's size medium. But I just thought that this was so cute. And you know, like Gen Z is having a moment with these, uh, you know, this kind of granny core look. I like, I wish if you are out looking and this is something you wanna dip your toes into, ideally like keep your eye out for this, but make it pastel. If this was pastel, there's no doubt that this would sell in a minute. Um, look at like the little details there, probably, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks on this, but I couldn't leave it behind. I just thought it was so cute and it looks brand new. Like it's in perfect condition. I'm looking here. I still have two new Bolo brands to show you guys. This week was wild. Uh, this is not one of them. This is a little vintage piece that I saw. Now I am from New Jersey. Like I'm from Philadelphia, but I'm from the Jersey side uh, suburbs. And y'all leopard is a neutral. I will die on that hill. Fight me. Leopard is a neutral. It goes with everything. Um, this is a 3X uh, DG2. I, I think this is like a 90s vintage situation, but it's a great, in great condition, little um, kind of fine knit cardigan. This will, this will sell in no time. Oh, look at the little buttons are like little molded knots. So cute. Um, I always love finding 2X, 3X, 4X shirts just because, you know, for consumers, they're like hard to find. It's hard to find good stuff. It's very hard to find vintage in 2X, 3X, 4X. Um, and it's hard to find vintage staples. So any anytime I see something like this, I'm going to grab it. Um, probably $25 or $30 on this. I think this is a good find, and I don't think that's going to last long. Next up here. Now, I think this is the older tag Madewell, but I just loved this style. I think that's the older tag with the date on it. But I love a red, white, and blue moment. This is very, um, you know, very summer. This is like a, I think this is a mohair and wool blend. Let me double check. Yeah, wool, mohair, and nylon. Um, so it's a great sweater. I, probably 25 bucks on this. This is a very like evergreen style. Like this isn't ever going to go out of style. I just thought that was so cute. I couldn't leave it behind. And it's a size, well, it's a size extra small. So this is a very generous oversized cut. Um, very cool. Next up, now I will never leave a vintage Disney piece behind. Um, number one, I love Disney. I, you know, I live close enough to Disneyland that I can go frequently, but um, people who are into Disney are really, really into Disney. And this is a very cool, this is a 2X bowling shirt. This is from Disneyland. This is the um, late 90s, early 2000s tag. Um, look at the back of this. It's got these little like embroidered details all over. This just reminds me of like, there was a, there was a trend back in like the late 90s, early 2000s where it was very like, you know, when Swingers came out, that movie, um, you know, very like 1950s bowling shirts, whatever. This I'm assuming came out kind of in that same, in that same time frame. but this was a great find. I mean, Disney stuff can go, you know, pretty inexpensive all the way to the stars. So I have to do a little bit more research on like how rare this is, but I'm going to anticipate probably 30 bucks. But if it is something that is like very in demand or something that people are looking for, um, easily into the hundreds, easily into the hundreds. Next up here, this is another Bolo brand uh, that I had never heard of. This is Zulu and Zephyr. And again, I picked this up because the quality felt really nice and I love the black and white. This is um, another Australian brand. And I this is just like a little shirt dress in this cute little black and white kind of speckled print. It's got three quarter sleeves. Again, it's beautiful condition. It's a size, it's a size small. So it's a nice oversized cut. Um, you know, this was probably a $200 dress and I've seen resale on these in 50 to $60. So definitely a brand to be on the lookout for while you're out shopping. Again, I just grabbed this because it felt and looked really nice. And sure enough, when I ran the comps and there it was. And finally, another Bolo brand, um, this is Cotton Citizen. And of course, as their name would denote they make all cotton pieces and this is a cute little cropped sweat like a distressed cropped sweatshirt 
Uh, this is 100% intentional distressing. So it goes all the way down there, all the way down the sleeve, little crop silhouette. It is a size small. Again, this was probably a $200 sweat, like hoodie when it was made and resale, they go 40 to $75, depending on the style, depending, depending on the color. So definitely a very cool brand, something to keep your eyes out for. So that is it, guys. That is the bins. What a wild ride. I don't think I've ever had a week where I've had so many new brands that I need to be keeping my eyes out for. Um, this was just, it was crazy. This was a crazy week. But uh, for all you numbers nerds out there, the MSRP on all of this is somewhere in the vicinity, just north of $5,000, which again, crazy. You find this in the bins. Um, I'm anticipating sales somewhere between 1,000 and 1,250 on these. Um, and again, I'm, I'm usually estimating on the low end, so any more would be gravy. But uh, with 1,000 to 1,250, I'm looking at between 800 and 1,000 dollars worth of profit, which anytime I can take, I, I spent 36 dollars at the bin. So anytime I can take 36 dollars and turn it into 800 to 1,000 dollars. I'm a happy girl, um, but that brings my ROI to about 22.2x. So very, very good day. Again, if you bring this to any business in the world, they would jump all over themselves to get that kind of return on investment. But guys, I appreciate each and every one of you so much. I thank you so much for hanging with me while I go through these. I'm just so excited to have people to like share this with. Um, I know, I knew that there were other people out there in the world that loved treasure hunting at the bins and finding cool things and reselling. So I really appreciate you all for kind of hanging with me. It, it means the world to me. But if you had fun today, don't forget to give this video a like. Um, it really helps with YouTube. Um, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you along on this journey. Um, you know, of course, if you have any crazy finds, if you have any new Bolo brands that you've recently find, put them down in the comments below. You know, share share your knowledge. The better off we all do, the better off we all do. Um, but without further ado, guys, have an awesome Halloween tomorrow. You know I'm going to be living my best life, um, but happy hunting in the meantime, and I will see you all in the next one.